Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. How are you? Welcome back to my channel, Healing Tea Talk, or welcome to my channel if this is your first time viewing. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is a new venture. Um, I'm new to the YouTube world and out here contributing my version of love and light to all of you. Uh, again, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If this message resonates with you, um, it is a general reading, so it may not register with everyone who views it. But I do believe if you do watch it, that it will be the right timing for you, even though this is a weekly reading for May 13th through May the 18th. So, um, again, all of my guidance is divine guidance. Um, and... There are a couple things that you may want to know that Venus enters um, Venus enters Taurus on Wednesday. And so depending on your natal chart, that could impact you. You could be feeling particularly lovely. Get it? As the week goes on. Or you could... Um, Mars enters Cancer on Wednesday as well. And so with Mars being the planet of will and determination, um, you could be particularly driven towards the middle of the week or passive aggressive. It just depends on how it falls in your chart, you guys. Um, and then on Friday, there's a full moon in Scorpio. So sometimes secrets come out. Um, there could be attraction. Um, I've seen higher callings from above. You may have an increased sense of intuition or a knowing about your path or yourself. So there's a number of things that could happen this week, Aquarius. So we just want to get some divine guidance for you. Again, we all have the power of choice and free will. So the guidance that you get is just that. It is guidance. Um, but you... A lot of times determine your altitude by your attitude and the choices that you make. So I'm encouraging you as a veteran of 20 plus years. I'm not going to tell you my age um, in the life coaching and career coaching field. Now pairing them with my intuitive gifts to make a plan for yourself and visualize the success that you would like to see for yourself, Aquarius. So with that being said, we will get into your reading. For May 13th through the 18th, I am wishing you health, bountiful blessings. Um, I hope your wildest dreams come true, Aquarius. Alrighty. So, the High Priestess. Wow, look at that. Uh, Major Arcana. It says, powerful psychic insights, reflection, and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace, Aquarius. And I know you guys can be very, very mental in your heads, not mentally ill, just very intellectual. You are an air sign, very in your heads. And so with this high priestess card, I'm not surprised that there's some kind of increased intuition or psychic ability, it looks like, uh, reflection, meditation that gives you guys insight at the top of the week this week. Okay. Highest level of clear guidance for Aquarius Holy Spirit for May 13th through May the 18th. Highest level of clear guidance for Aquarius May 13th through the 18th. Highest level of clear guidance for Aquarius May 13th through the 18th Holy Spirit. Highest level of clear guidance for Aquarius, May 13th through the 18th. Highest level of guidance for Aquarius, who will be watching this channel, May 13th through the 18th. Thank you. All righty. And then you have the king of Ariel, successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using your resources wisely. Awesome. 
Very good. Very good, Aquarius. Very good. Highest level of guidance for Aquarius. May 13th through the 18th. All right, and we got a leap of faith. Again, a major arcana this week. Believe in yourself, listen to your heart, and do what gives you joy, Aquarius. So you've got two major arcana that popped out, meaning there's, you know, you are being divinely guided to do something. Um, this guy looks like he's going out into the wild blue yonder with his dog and a butterfly. <laughs> with his shirt open so somebody is getting their best life sexy that's the best way to do it right <laughs> so wonderful wonderful aquarius that's awesome that's awesome highest level of guidance for aquarius may 13th through the 18th holy spirit highest level of guidance for my aquarius friends Awesome. So you got the nine of Gabriel. And it says, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility, environmental or activism. Very good, Aquarius. And then Epiphany. Again, another major arcana that has to do with the mind, right? Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. So you are really, really being guided. Um, and the magician. Being able to manifest your desires. Um, Aquarius, you guys are magical. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. It's right there. You saw me shuffle these cards, Aquarius. So I am just like... Like thrilled for you all okay so why don't we get some clarification on these and then i will pull some oracle cards for you guys how about that okay wow very meditation is a theme going inward which is not usually a problem for Aquarius. You all can be, at least an introverted Aquarius. You all could be very much in your heads about things. Very intellectual, very bright, intelligent. Um, intuitively speaking, you are definitely this week being divinely guided. Um, if, you, if you take the time to sort of create a space to hear, from source and the Holy Spirit and see what's going on, right? All right, so I would like two, two clarifiers for Aquarius for March the 13th through the 18th for this High Priestess card, please. Highest level of guidance, Holy Spirit. Thank you. All righty, so yeah. Reflection, the four of swords, it's right there. That's you. That's air energy. Reflecting, thinking, recuperating. Um, five of pentacles. And maybe you're coming off of a loss, right? Something didn't go quite the way you thought. Or you feel like you don't have the resources that you need. Um, you don't feel like you have the resources that you need. Maybe it's money. Maybe you're like, okay, I know what I want to do. I feel like there's a direction I want to go in, but I don't have the money. So you create some space for yourself to hear from source. And you are going to, your plans end up working out well as the week goes on, Aquarius. See, so look at that four of cups right there, which is like an offer comes in, but you don't necessarily think it's a good offer. It looks like you're sort of like, eh, right? Or you're offering something to someone. And then the seven of swords comes out here, which is sort of like, um, it's definitely air energy, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but it's like some unethical stuff going on, right? 
taking what you can get, taking something that doesn't belong to you, some kind of deviousness there. Um, somebody making an offer, maybe you're walking away from something. Hopefully, Aquarius walking away from something that you know will not be in your best interest. Two cards for Leap of Faith. Two cards for Aquarius, Leap of Faith. Something, you could be being asked to do something unscrupulous, Aquarius, and you're like, let me take what I can get and get out of this situation. Um, so it looks like you refuse the offer. Okay, and then you have a two of wands, definitely at a crossroads here with this leap of faith. You are being encouraged to listen to your heart and do what gives you great joy. So sometimes the things that give us great joy may not necessarily bring the money in right away. I'm a witness, <laughs> but it's something that gives you great joy, right? And look at that smack dab in a forehead. A Ten of Pentacles pops out. That is literally financial success. I mean, it comes from out of nowhere, Aquarius. That's why you follow your heart, follow your dreams, and divine guidance. That's what a leap of faith is. And look, the universe rewards you that Ten of Pentacles, whatever you've been working on, that you were contemplating about, felt like you had lost it all. Dag, I need some money. And then you get hit with a test, right? Are you going to do the right thing? Are you going to make a right choice? Are you going to choose an upright path? And if you choose correctly, look what you get. Ten of Pentacles. I know that's right. Come on through here, Holy Spirit. That is good stuff. All right. Two cards for this nine of Gabriel. To stay determined and move forward, you don't lose from doing the right thing. Integrity is amazing to have, Aquarius. So keep doing the right thing. Keep staying on that path. It doesn't seem like it's going to pan out when you're at the beginning of something or the beginning of the week. It's like, I don't know what the rest of this week is going to be. But it's a test of your character and your development. And if you stay true to it, it looks like it pans out for you. Have faith. And your divine creator who loves you and knows what's best for you and wants the best for you, right? Right, exactly. So two cards, Holy Spirit, on this nine of Gabriel for Aquarius, please. Two clarifiers for Aquarius. Thank you. Yeah, the Empress came out. Definitely somebody is going into... The Empress uh, represents, uh, like, it's almost like a Mother Nature card to me. Um, definitely having your handiwork in something that's related to the earth. And then this Three of Swords comes out, which is heartbreak. Um, hmm, that's interesting. Huh. And then at the end of the week, Queen of Swords, you rise up in your power. Maybe you have a sharp message for somebody <laughs> who causes heartbreak. The Queen of Swords can cut you up. Uh, I think sometimes in my, the way that I'm feeling this energy is maybe something comes to light. And with that full moon in Scorpio on Friday, maybe something comes to light and see the Queen of Wands. You might be in conflict. It could be a third party situation. Maybe it's not heartbreak yet, but you come into conflict with this other queen who is also very passionate and something comes to light and you all have words. <laughs> uh-uh. All right. Oh, what else flipped over here? Yeah, there's an ace of pentacles though. You all get a golden opportunity. Maybe you're working with another queen. We don't have to assume conflict, but with this Three of Swords here. There's some kind of third-party energy heartbreak. And at the bottom of the deck, you get the High Priestess again. So Aquarius, your mental telepathy, your intuition, psychic abilities are on tilt this week. You are being divinely guided. You get 
uh, an epiphany, a realization. And I think I want to read that for you guys too. Let's see what that's about. It says, this card signals that you're on a quest to discover your true self. Meditation and quiet time provide great insight into the nature of your own heart and your life purpose. This is not a time of lon loneliness, but of inner joy and exploring your divine light within. You may find a mentor who magically shows up at the right moment. So maybe that's who this person is. This queen of wands is someone who's already creatively inspired. It is, and it doesn't have to be a woman. Um, the energies are um, transferable. It could be just a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo who shows up that could serve as a mentor um who magically shows up at the right moment it could also be that it's time for you to share your own spiritual journey with others who are seeking a mentor archangel raziel holds up his lantern of enlightenment to welcome you to the starry mountaintop where self-discovery awaits which happens at the beginning of the week as well with this high priestess and four of swords so consider life's mysteries spend quiet time alone be a light to others Heed your own counsel. Wise advice is also coming your way. And it looks like whatever this epiphany is, this partnership brings in the coins, Aquarius. Isn't that amazing? So why don't I get you a couple uh, Oracle cards from the Angel Oracle deck? I feel like meditation and going inward, connecting to source and your higher self does bring reward. You may not be able to see how. But you just got to know with your intuitive knower that it does. Yep. Be honest with yourself. Introspection is key for you this week, Aquarius. Be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. That's beautiful, Aquarius. Beautiful. Beautiful. Holy Spirit, do you have one more message for Aquarius? Ask. Maybe in your meditation time, get a clear picture of what you want and ask the divine for it. And then I'm going to, I'm looking at this love deck. I'm going to get a guidance card from this highest level of divine guidance for my Aquarius friends May 13th through May the 18th all right and it says like attracts like if you long for more love be more loving ah. so isn't that funny too how that comes up with these two queens right here and that's something like attracts like. So there's somebody on a similar path, similar, a complementary spirit, we'll say, uh, in their power. You're in your power. You have divine clarification. They have creative clarification. I think that's amazing. Love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. Love is a powerful thing. The Bible says the love is stronger than death, Aquarius. So maybe this love is coming in. You're being encouraged to let love come in and heal this three of swords energy. And physical touch. Oh, a tender touch can mean so much. Come on here and rhyme with it. Lean with it, rock with it, Aquarius. Yes, 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 yes physical touch it could have been a minute Aquarius and so I think that's beautiful that you're being encouraged to perhaps love again to allow love in don't underestimate the power of love it can make the difference especially if you're trying to heal from some past toxic energy right 
be determined to move forward. Don't get stuck in the past, you guys. So I'm wishing you love and light. What a beautiful reading, Aquarius. Hit me up if you'd like a personal reading or some insight on your own personal situation. My email address is talk at gmail.com. And that information will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if this message resonates with you. God bless you, Aquarius. Have a wonderful week.